Hey crafters, I'm Lisa Fulmer and today we're going to be melting stuff. It's going to be so much fun. I am working with the Ranger Melt Art line. This is their melting pot and we're going to be making this really cool door hanging. It's got loads of great texture. I'm going to be showing you a technique that I learned with UD, Ultra Thick Embossing Enamel. I'm also going to be working with a little bit of beeswax and then Ranger has these really cool uh, texture treads. They're made from rubber and they've got this really great texture. You're going to love it. Let's get started. First we're going to plug in the melting pot and get it ready for some beeswax that will tint with a little Perfect Pearls pigment powder. In the directions that come with the melting pot it tells you what temperatures to use for what kinds of mediums. So we're going to set it right about here just past 140 degrees. Wax needs to melt slowly at a low heat so it doesn't get smoky. So you want to pop in this separate project pan. It's kind of like how you use a double boiler. Pour in some wax pellets and allow about 20 to 30 minutes for them to melt down. Now I want to tint the wax with just a hint of copper, so I'm adding a tiny bit of the Perfect Pearls pigment powder and then stirring it with the silicone spatula that comes with the melting pot. You'll get a nice color with this really pretty swirl of pearlescence. You can add more pigment for a deeper color, but I want this to stay transparent so I can still see the surface I'll be painting on. I found these really cool wood placards at a salvage store. They were cut from cast offs from a clock manufacturer. I'm going to trace them and then cut out this really pretty Tim Holtz paper to fit on top of each board. Next I'm going to very carefully burn the edges all around the border. After you decoupage the paper to the board, now you can paint a layer of wax on top. Use a flat brush with natural bristles because those synthetic brushes will melt. These Japanese hake brushes are really cool. Hold it close to the wax so you can brush it down quickly before it dries. Then you can use your heat tool to remelt the wax and move it around however you want with an angled silicone brush like this. This is what I love about wax painting. It's so flexible. You can expose the images underneath or create really interesting texture. While the wax is still soft, take the tip of your brush and carve some lines here and there. Now take some Perfect Pearls pigment powder, I used gold, and use your finger to rub it over the top to highlight the textured areas or you can also put it around the borders. Remove the hot wax pan carefully with large tweezers and set it on a trivet to cool. It's really handy to just leave it in the pan and you can melt it down again for your next project later. Now we're going to turn the heat all the way over to the hottest setting on the far right of the melting pot and we're going to melt some ultra-thick embossing enamel, which is also known as UD. And we can melt that in the main pot and color it with these specially formulated heated inks. Just pour some UD granules into the pan, but watch where that maximum fill line is. You don't want to melt too much. It liquefies pretty quick. With the UD, you only need a few drops of ink to get a really nice deep color. It's normal for the UD to bubble and pop a little bit as it heats. Now these are really cool. These are Ranger's new texture treads. They're heat resistant rubber and they come in lots of really great patterns. On one side you get an embossed pattern and on the other side you get a debossed pattern. The melting pot has ridged handles that stay cool so you just pick it up and pour a puddle right onto the texture tread. Be sure you're working on top of a heat resistant craft mat to catch those hot drips. Then press a cookie cutter down gently on top. After a couple minutes, tap the UD with your spatula and see if it's hard and cool. And then you can pick up all those little drips and put them right back in the pan to remelt. I just love that there's no waste when you're melting stuff. Don't you just love that? Flip the tread over and then press down really hard until you can feel that cookie cutter go through the UD. Now just flip it back and poke out your circle. And look at that. Now you have this gorgeous, perfectly textured embellishment. Now all you have to do is take the excess and pop it right back in the pan. No waste. The Perfect Pearls pigment powders are great for tinting UD too. They're really opaque. Just use your finger to highlight the raised areas and give them some contrasting color. Or, if you want all over color, just use a brush to get in all those nooks and crannies. It's really fun to blend the colors and give each embellishment a different look. Now you're ready to position the boards on top of each other the way you want them to hang. Then lay out your embellishments however you like and glue them down. To connect the boards together, I drilled holes in all the corners and then I threaded some copper wire through from the back 
wrapped it through, and twisted the ends to secure. For a hanger, I made a loop at the top with a folded piece of wire. And lastly, because everything looks better when it's grouped in threes, I finished this off with another super cool clockboard cast off from the salvage store. So melting stuff is a ton of fun, right? I hope you had a great time learning about Ranger's melt art line. I hope you'll go to your local salvage store and find some really cool pieces of wood like I did and have fun with texture. I'm Lisa Fulmer. You know, I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>